What is going on guys, my name is Alone and welcome to a video on the top 5 easiest yet profitable bosses in old school runescape. Before I start off the video I want to say that I have decided to only pick one wilderness and one slayer boss in this list as otherwise it would be way too easy and honestly very dull just to make the whole list about them as they are in general pretty profitable and easy. Also, this is not exactly a boss guide, which means that I will not go in depth on how to kill each boss. I will give some gearing advice and let you know the requirements for each of the bosses, but not much more than that in terms of strategy. Also, if you wanna join my Discord, the link to that will be at the top of the description as always, but let's start off the list with that out of the way. Number 5 is the Giant Mole. Even with the Giant Mole being one of the first bosses released into old school runescape, it is still surprisingly profitable. The main drops you are looking for while killing the Giant Mole is actually its standard 100% drop rate items, which is the Mole Skin and the Mole Claw, that currently, at the time of making this video, goes for 6500 GP for the Mole Skin and 7300 for the Claw each. Every kill you will receive one claw, however you can get from 1 to 3 skins per kill, meaning that the guaranteed value of each kill is currently just below 14k at the minimum. It is highly recommended if you want to maximize your kills per hour to have the Falador Hard Diary completed. It rewards you with an arrow constantly pointing to the current location of the mole which makes it way easier to find it after it performs its dig ability. The recommended gear to kill the giant mole is either full Darox with melee prey at low HP, though the absolute best and fastest way to farm the boss is with the twisted bow and the maxed ranged. Of course this is extremely unaccessible for most players, but I thought I would just at least mention it. Depending on your gear, and if you have completed the diary or not, you should expect from the absolute lowest to highest, 500k without a diary and very bad stats, all the way up to 1.5 million an hour with the diary and good gear from the giant mole per hour. Number 4 is the Kraken. This is the one and only slayer boss of this list and does require a task to kill. The slayer requirement to fight this kraken is 87 which is fairly high, however the reason why I decided to pick this boss was because it is extremely easy to kill and of course it is pretty profitable. The boss has a few rare drops such as the full trident of the seas that currently goes for 850k and a kraken tentacle that goes for 470k. Its regular drops are fairly decent valued as well with most of the drops being valued around 25,000 per kill. When it comes to gear setup I would recommend ranged defensive armor with a trident for the longest trips with the least friction. The boss attacks with magic attacks which cannot be protected against, however they are still reduced by having a high magic defense setup. That's why Carol's is a great gear setup for the encounter as it gives a very high magic defense. You could also with a higher budget go for full ancestral with a sanguinesti staff if you're just looking to maximize the amount of kills per hour if you don't mind taking a bit more damage. Your expected profits per hour from killing the kraken should be about 1 to 1.4 million an hour. Number 3 is Sarachnes. This boss is perfect for beginners to get into bossing as it is an easy boss in general but a step up from the camp 1 prayer and hit bosses. It also brings some pretty good money if you decide to learn it. There are no specific requirements to kill the boss but I would highly recommend 43 plus prayer for all the protection prayers and 70 plus in all combat skills. Killing Sarachnes without them would be way too much of a hassle. For gearing I would recommend as high strength bonus as possible while using a crush weapon. A great weapon is the Abyssal Bludgeon for people with a lower budget and the Scythe of Vitter for the very high level players that are looking to maximize the kills per hour. When it comes to loot it does have two rare drops, the Sarachnus Cudgel and the Jar of Eyes. The Cudgel being worth roughly 500k as of making this video and the Jar of Ice 350k, however the Cudgel is substantially more common than the Jar, making it the main rare drop to hunt for profit wise. In general, the common average drop is worth quite a lot, sitting around 30k and the average GP per hour you can expect from killing Sarachnus is 900k to 1.4 million. Number 2 is Callisto, the wilderness boss of this list and it is also by far my favorite wilderness boss to kill. The reason I decided to go with Callisto out of the wilderness related encounters is because it is extremely easy to save spot and does not really have a big learning curve on how to save spot it compared to Venonatus which will be a close second. 
There's no real requirement for killing Callisto, but my recommendations would be to have 70 plus ranged and enough money to buy a crossbow, as it is by far the best weapon when it comes to killing most of the wilderness creatures in general. Now as this is the wilderness, I would recommend to not bring too much valuables and just stick with full black dehydes with a crossbow, plus two strong ranged bonus items, such as a necklace of anguish and maybe pigation boots. If you get jumped by a team with this gear, you're only risking your black dehydes and ether in your weapon, which is not too much of a loss. And keep in mind that it is multi-combat, so you will get piled by big teams sometimes. The average drop from Callisto is really really high, sitting at around 90k per kill, with the most valuable items being the Dragon Pickaxe and the Tyrannical Ring, which are 4.6 million for the pickaxe and 1.6 for the ring. When killing Callisto you can expect from 1.5 to 3 million an hour, which is a big margin, but it is due to the fact that the most valuable drops being the Dragon Pickaxe only has a drop rate of 1 in 170, which is not very rare, so anytime you get one your GP per hour will bump up a lot. So for the number one boss on this list it is Commander Siliana, the Sardomin God Wars General. This is a very easy yet profitable boss if you have some decent luck, and the only requirement to kill her is 70 agility, 37 prayer to protect from magic, and a decent ranged and defense level. When it comes to gearing for Siliana, I would bring your best ranged bonus possible with a crossbow, such as the Dragon or Armadil crossbow, with both Ruby Dragon Bolts E and Diamond Dragon Bolts E to swap between, depending on the boss's HP. Now if you have an absolute insane amount of money to spend to maximize your kills per hour, I would recommend the Twisted Bow along with max range bonus that you can get from your armor, for example the full Armadil set. Now the case with this boss is that pretty much all of your profits comes from rares, which means that if you're very lucky you can make an insane amount of money in a short amount of time though if you're unlucky of course it could easily go the other way there are two main rares you will be looking for and those are the Saradomin Hilt which is currently worth 40 million and has a drop rate of 1 in 508 and the Armadil Crossbow that is worth 25 mil with a similar drop rate. There's also two more common rares being the Saradomin's Light at 1 in 254 drop rate which is worth 400k and the Saradomin Sword at a rate of 1 in only 127 which is also worth around 400k. So to the average kill from Siliana is worth an amazing 160k as the value of the high-end rares are so expensive that you will eventually get one and spike up the value of each kill to that amount on average. It will definitely make you a ton of GP as soon as you get one, though as I said it is mostly in the rares where the money comes from, so the regular drop is only worth around 20k, which is still decent you could say. If you kill Seliana over an extended period of time, you can expect around 2 to 2.5 million an hour if you can manage 10 kills at least per trip, which is fairly easy with some minor practice. That is the end of my list of the top 5 easy yet profitable bosses in old school RuneScape. Keep in mind that this is my opinion after experiencing all the bosses for myself in my series where I learned to kill every boss in old school RuneScape that's on my channel. You might disagree or agree and that is completely fine of course, but at least I do hope some of you found it helpful or at least entertaining. If you want to see more of my content you can click any of the videos on the screen right now. You can also subscribe if you want to be notified when I post new content. With that said, I'll see you in the next one guys, take care.